write a C program to delete element of an array at user specified position. So let's assume that we have an array variable A of five with five elements. And if user selects a position two to delete this element, that is 14 from this array. So now we need to move A of three to A of two, A of four to A of three. That's what we need to accomplish using a for loop. And then the resultant array will have 10, 12, 16, 18 and 18. 14 will be deleted from this position. Now at the end, we need to display only the elements from zero to three. Okay, so that's the objective of this program. So that's how we delete a particular element from the position specified by the user. So I'll take the array variable int a of n, i for for loop and pause to get the position from which the array element has to be deleted. So we manage array size using macro. So as define n and the size of array is five. Now I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers, the value of which is present inside macro n. Now the regular for loop i is initialized to zero. This for loop iterates until i is less than n. For each iteration, increment the value of i by one. Now for each iteration, prompt the user to enter uh, integer number. Okay. So after that, I'll ask the user to enter the position of the element to be deleted. So that's what, that's the information we need next. Okay. I'll store that inside the integer variable pos address of integer variable pos. Now using a for loop. So i is equal to zero. I'll, I'll give zero for now. I less than n and for each iteration increment the value of i by one. And then inside this for loop, I'll shift the elements position backward by one position. So a of i is equal to the element present in next index, which is i plus one. So in this case, i is initialized to zero. So if all the elements gets shifted by one position to the top, the element present at a of zero will be lost. But our objective is to delete the element present in pos, the position pos. So I'll initialize i to pos. So in this case, the element present at position POS will be lost. So that's how we delete the element. That's all. This is the logic, simple logic, right? So now let me display the array. So array after deleting the specified element specified element. So I'll write regular for loop, but look at the condition here. I leave the last element because we have deleted one element from this array means the array size will be reduced by one digit, right? So this for loop executes until i is less than n minus one. So for each iteration, let me display the individual elements of the array. So let's check the result. So I'll give one, two, three, four, five. So we need, let me delete the element at a of two, which is three. So three has been deleted. So one, two, four, and five. Three has been deleted, which is at the position two. So now let me add new line character here. Let me also display which element the user is going to delete. Okay, that's very important. So I'll add a line here that is, you want to delete element. Just a confirmation message kind of thing. You want to delete element percentage D at position percentage D. So the elements value is present in A of position and the index POS. Let me store that inside a integer variable I will call it as maybe flag. So let me declare that. We haven't declared it. So let me do that first. Now, a user need to enter yes or no, right? He need to answer it. So let me give it, give a hint to the user. That is, if s, print f, for s, user need to enter one. 
for no user has to enter zero that's it simple so let's do one thing uh, let me put this whole code inside do while loop that's in that way if user enters has entered wrong position he could choose zero and then choose a different value okay so i'll i'll show you do while in do while the code gets executed at least once okay so let me copy these five lines of code and put inside do block i'll show you how it works so now user selects a position and then enters yes if he enters zero that means he wants to choose another position that means this while loop the the code inside this do block has to execute once again so let's check that so i'll give one two three four and five let me delete a element from position three which is four you want to delete element four at position three that's what we wanted so i'll give one so four has been deleted which is present at position three that's nice now let me show you what if the user selects zero in that case user will be prompted to enter the position once again so let me choose zero now so user will be prompted to enter the position once again now i'll choose zero itself that is the first element has to be deleted i'll give one now so the first element in this array has been deleted now what if user enters array size uh, the position of the element to be deleted which is more than the size of the array so let's see what happens if i give one so we are right the last element got deleted that doesn't make any sense so let us fix this so i'll have a, a condition here if condition if the user entered position is greater than or equal to the size of the array in that case in this case it's 5 so in that case i'll output a message to the user that is a nice message that is please enter position within the range within the range of the array that means within the size of the array let me also include that slash size so i'll take else condition here if user entered position is within the array size so let me copy these three lines of code and paste it here now one more thing we need to fix before that i'll show you what's the error so if user enters a position which is larger than the array size for example 10 once again it will show please enter positive a position within the range of the element okay after that it will it will have some garbage value something other than zero so it will the control exits this while loop after printing this line of code the control exits this while loop because flag will have some garbage value and not zero okay so that's why the control exits this while loop and executes the lines of code present after the while loop so let's check that once again i'll give one two three four five and give ten as position see please enter position within the range has been printed after that the result some some operations were executed to stop that we could we could assign zero to flag here right that's one method or else let me remove these things we have only single line of code so brackets are not necessary it's optional so we could even initialize flag to zero that would fix our problem so if user enters invalid position it will just type please enter position within the range after that the while loop gets executed once again because flags default value is zero so it executes once again and asks the user to enter the position of the element to, to be deleted if the position is valid then user gets the choice to choose between one and zero so let's check if it works so i'll give one five one five nine seven and zero so i'll give position as two now 
0 1 and 2 that is 9 has to be deleted so I'll select 1 so that means the position the element 9 has to be deleted from this array and that's working so now I'll I'll try this once again and give position as 10 so it gives the message and then it asks prompts the user to enter the new position I'll give 5 here which is also wrong because it's greater than the array size array size max size of our, this array is 4 max index is 4 so I'll give 4 now so last element will be deleted 0 1 2 and 3 5 will be deleted here so once again I'll give 1 5 9 3 and 7 I'll give position as 3 and choose not to delete it I'll select 0 now so it should prompt us to enter the new position once again I'll give 2 and then enter 1 and delete 9 from this once again so this is how we delete element of an array at user specified position so whatever is present inside this do block is like validation thing okay so for loop is the actual logic that's all we have in this program very simple at the end while displaying the array make sure to leave the last element of the array and display the rest of the elements of the array indicating the array size has been reduced by one because we deleted one element of the array right that means the array size must be reduced by one two right so that's it so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you